The Legend of Zhen Huan is a great TV drama, but is different with real history. So, in this video, let's see if the Legend of Zhen Huan happened in real history. Who should not appear? In the TV drama, the Empress Dowager is a very important character. She first appears in the episode 1. In this episode, she helps Yong Zheng pick some girls in the imperial election. The Empress Dowager passed away in 67 episode. Well, in real history, the Empress Dowager passed away in June 25, 1723, which was six months after Yong Zheng became the Emperor. The first imperial election for Yong Zheng happened in 1727. In this election, Yong Zheng chose a girl for his son, Hong Li. They became the future Emperor Qianlong and the Empress Xiao Xian. Because the first episode of the Legend of Zhen Huan set in the year of Yong Zheng's first imperial election, at that time, the Empress Dowager already passed away for four years. So the Legend of Zhen Huan shouldn't have the Empress Dowager. In this TV drama, Yong Zheng had three daughters. One was born by the noble lady Cao, two are born by Zhen Huan. In real history, Yong Zheng only had four biological daughters. Unfortunately, all of them passed away before Yong Zheng became the emperor. When Yong Zheng inherited the throne, he adopted three daughters, so the TV drama shouldn't have Yong Zheng's biological daughters. In TV drama, Yong Zheng had an empress called Chun Yuan. She never actually appears in the drama, but she is an important character, connecting different characters. In real history, Yong Zheng only personally promoted one empress, and they had a great relationship. Yong Zheng's empress passed away in 1731, which was six years before Qianlong became the emperor. So, in the TV drama, there isn't Empress Chun Yuan, and the Empress shouldn't live until the last episode. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.